Hi, you're in the garden with April. Welcome to the Chandler Community Education Garden at Veterans Oasis Park. And today, I'd like to talk to you about soil, dirt, whatever you want to call it. It's something that we all need for our plants in our garden. Now, Arizona soil, especially here in the valley, doesn't have a lot of nutrients, but that doesn't mean you can't use it in your garden. It's just going to take a few amendments to make it just right. Some of the things you'll want to check for is the pH and the nutrients that are in your soil. And you can do that really easy with one of these. There's different kinds. You can get it just about any hardware store. This particular one tests your pH as well as your fertilizer. Now, it's not going to be lab quality, but it's going to give you an idea of where you're at. They're really inexpensive, and you'll want to test throughout the season. Once a month, make sure your soil's doing great. Here in Arizona, our soil is very alkaline. So we want it to be closer to neutral, or a little less in the 6.5 to 7 range. That's usually over 8, so you're going to have a lot of amendments to add to your soil, make it just right. I like to get my soil nice and done in the fall, ready to go for my fall planting, for my winter garden, and on into the spring. You can do compost. If you compost at home, great. You can add that to your dirt. Lime and sulfur, depending, but you want to be careful with sulfur. It can burn your plants. You can also add a mulch. Some people like to use wood chips or wood mulch like we have here. That is great. It will break down. It takes a little longer, and I tend to get splinters, so I don't use the wood chips in my own garden. One of the things I like to do throughout the gardening season is to go ahead and add amendments throughout the season. Leaves are great. They break down into the soil. They add organic matter over time. So I have to add more leaves and add more leaves throughout the season. That's fine. One word of caution is to make sure they're leaves that are not poisonous to you or your pets. You can even add grass clippings in a shallow layer. They're gonna compost in there as well. They're organic materials. So that's something that you really want in your garden. The other thing we want to consider is our water because just dry dirt isn't gonna do well. And just like when you're baking, your flour is dry and you put water on it, it's hydrophobic. You have to mix the water in and you need to do that with your soil. So as you're adding amendments to your soil, to your dirt, you wanna add water. You wanna have a nice moist soil to start with. If you just plant your plants and then add your water on top, then you're just going to have water rolling off the top. Maybe it's sinking down a few inches, but it's not really getting into your soil. One reason that's important here in Arizona is because of salt. So if your water is just getting a few inches down, it's leaving all those salts behind, which our plants really can't tolerate. And it also helps to add air into the soil, which our roots need to breathe. They transpire too. Some ways you can add air to the soil is by tilling the soil, of course. So when you're turning it and adding your amendments, you are actually adding air to the soil. Another component might be to add vermiculite. Vermiculite is a substance that some people add. It helps with drainage, as well as adding some pine chips. That likes to hold water for you, but it also has air. It's airy in those chips as well. Another thing that may be important to some gardens is the worms in the soil or other little things in there. I particularly am interested in worms because they do two things. They add nutrients with their castings or you know what castings are. And they also add air to the soil. Now, when you're in your garden and you're plucking those leaves that maybe don't look so good, they didn't survive, you're doing a little trimming, just go ahead and chop them up, throw them in the garden. They'll compost in there too. Your worms and other microbes in the garden will be thankful for the extra nutrients as well. That's all for now. If you'd like more information about gardening and volunteering here at our garden, contact the Environmental Education Center or check out Break Time for more details.